Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial on uh, threading in Java. So let's begin with Eclipse and create our first Java application. So let me just go other and choose, uh, I just want to create a Java application. So Java project. Uh, let me just hit uh, threading class and hit next so we just want to create the source everything is fine yeah I want to change the perspective okay here we go um, so the first thing we have a uh, our project here and uh, let's create a new class new class and here just say driver and we we'll generate the, the method Okay, we got a we got the class here, and we got the driver. So let me just test the driver. Hi, just say hi. Just want to test everything is fine, and let's go run here and uh, just run this Java and run it. Okay, we combining. Here we go. We just created our first Java. So let's now create a new class. Okay. So we want to uh, 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 generate a thread. Okay. A thread is the basic unit of execution in memory. We have a process, and this process has many threads. Okay. And maybe a thread can call any thread, uh, other thread, and each thread has priority. Okay. And we have a lot of function about thread. We have a uh, uh, join we have a start uh, we have terminate and we have a uh, uh, suspend uh, we have a lot of function related to thread okay I just want to uh, focus on the implementation part of threading okay so uh, let's let's just first make a, a, a new class that we're gonna call it many times so I just want to make two class, a class for printing numbers and a class for printing, um, let's say, uh, uh, printing uh, characters. So let's just make a class and here say uh, character or car print. This is the, the class. Okay, uh, the first thing about threading a thread is implementing a runnable class so so first thing implements runnable so this is the first thing that you need to care about okay we need to generate the the, uh, the unimplemented methods which is the run method because each class when you when you make a, th a new thread and just call the start the start uh, start method you're gonna call the run method okay so this is very important so this is the first thing uh, we created a runnable uh, method here and in order to make this work I need to print uh, I need to print numbers okay so uh, I, I need to print characters so let me just make uh, the the constructor bub public car brand and just want to pass car C and we want to print the, the we want to pass the numbers so let's say M okay and let me just declare uh, two, two variables here uh, one for uh, the character that we want to print so just say uh, let's say uh, car C and uh, just put car C and put int M and we just want to say int uh, or this the c equal c and this the m equal m so this is the first thing we want to do and here inside this method uh, we gotta uh, print out on the screen the 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 character so let's say print our system the out the print we want to print what? We want to print the character. Okay. So, but we need to do this many times. 
okay so let me just make a for loop for int i equals zero i is less than what i is less than the number n that we have i plus plus and we want to do this as much as we can so let me just make a, a brackets okay so this is the first thing that we're going to do we go to driver we want to call this method and assign it to a thread so we just basically do that by uh, making a new thread so we just say thread th1 equal new thread so as I said a thread is implementing the runnable class so in order to if you go to the thread here and you just try and figure out what is the thread has a thread including you, you just you know just put here inside the parentheses inside the the constructor of the thread you need to pass a runnable class okay and I said I said that we need to pass a car print function a car print class or object inside uh, th this thread so just say um, car print and as I said we need to pass a character let's say a and the number let's say thousand and uh, we wanna uh, 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 you know just pass the, the the runnable class inside the thread so if you execute this go with the driver and try run it I'm sorry run it on the Java application here run Java nothing gonna nothing gonna happen because we didn't start the thread okay we're talking about we need to call the method and uh, we have a lot of controllers a lot of method that control a thread we have join we have start suspend and kill we can do a lot of stuff so we need to start the thread so we just go th1 the start okay we have a stub we have a, a sleep we have a, a, a bunch of stuff about threading but we just want to tell you how to make a thread and start it as a you know as a the first beginner uh, start so just say th1 start and you go to the driver run as Java application so we are we now executing the thread okay so as you can see here we executed the thread and uh, you can see here that we executed this thread and this in the same time okay so if you need to make a let's say a sleep you need to make you need to see on the screen because I'm using a, 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 a new device and this operation is happening in a, in a, in a fast time I need to to make a, a sleep here so I just you call the the thread function a thread class and I you can see here the priority you can play with it because we are working in the in the runnable class we have a thread here we have a yield uh, we are gonna know this later on so let's say I want to sleep for uh, 10, 10 milliseconds and for each time that I print or executed this thread so notes here we have a, an exception here because uh, we need to interrupt the the, the, the the thread okay so and that's why sometime uh, this may, might be cause an exception called interrupted exception so we need to surround this with a try catch statement so we just put here uh, uh, surrounded with a try catch statement and we go to the driver and I just run this I just want to show you what I mean by so we just run the driver we started the new thread and you can see here we have a uh, an iterating we just have a uh, uh, you know uh, we didn't print the whole stuff for a thousand time okay so you can increase this for let's say just put inside the the uh, let's say here put 10 let's say here 100 and run the driver again run as Java application you can see there's much time you can see each one a time because we just increase the sleep time so this is pretty much this is not useful 
okay this is just uh, uh, the, you know the, the the first shot for you in threading in the next example in the next video tutorial okay I gotta show you uh, how to uh, uh, make many threads at the same time that you can execute many of them at the same time and your program is not gonna uh, break down okay so don't forget to subscribe guys uh, wait wait for the next tutorial here's Ahmad Nasser from Stereo 007 at YouTube and uh, see you in the next video thank you